Joe Biden claimed that he was willing to cancel up to $10,000 in student loans to really help students out with this ever growing student loan debt crisis that we're experiencing in this country. About $1.7 trillion of outstanding student loan debt. It is insane. But he has reneged on that promise, as modest as that promise was. And now it turns out that the Biden administration is getting involved in a case where a judge actually decided to discharge hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loan debt for someone who is not healthy enough to pay it back. The fact that the education department under the Biden administration has filed an appeal in that case tells you quite a bit. So first, before I get to what the Biden administration is doing, I think it's important to give you context about the case. So it involves a student, a former student who has graduated, graduated back in 2010, who's suffering from some very serious health issues and as a result is not gainfully employed and can't pay back loans. Now on January 14th, a federal judge in Biden's home state of Delaware moved to eliminate nearly $100,000 in student loan debt held by this 35 year old epileptic man. In response, the Justice Department filed a notice of appeal in the case on behalf of Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. Why would you do that? We're talking about someone who is not healthy enough to earn a living to pay back those loans. Why would you appeal the judge's decision? Well, uh, let's give you more details on just how difficult it would be for this student to be able to pay back his loans. A bankruptcy judge found that Ryan Wolfson, who held nearly $100,000 in student loan debt, faced undue hardship due to the debt and eliminated all of it. According to the lawsuit, Wolfson graduated from Penn State back in 2010 and struggled to find full-time employment. In 2019, while Wilson was working full time driving for Uber, Lyft and Grubhub, he suffered a seizure while driving and totaled his vehicle. I mean, it is an incredibly depressing story. I mean, my heart goes out to this guy. He's he's doing what he can, he's trying so, so hard. But because of his health issues, because of the fact that he has these seizures, he's unable to be gainfully employed. And to make matters worse, He's got this $100,000 debt on his shoulders, holding him down, and he's filing for bankruptcy. And because of Biden's bankruptcy bill years ago, students are unable to discharge their student loan debt even if they file for bankruptcy. The only way you can do it is if you can prove that there is an undue burden that prevents you from being able to pay it back. And even though it is incredibly rare for a judge to side with the individual with the loans, in this particular case, the judge is like, yo, your situation is terrible. You're not gonna be able to pay back these loans. I'm gonna help you discharge them through your bankruptcy. The evidence shows, wrote the judge, that despite considerable effort, Wolfson has been chronically un or underemployed since graduating from college, that his sporadic full-time employment has consisted of low paying gig work or jobs with little prospect of advancement. And that he has avoided living in abject poverty only through significant financial support from his father. The record further shows that Wolfson's career prospects are unlikely to materially improve over time. And thus his inability to pay his student loan debt will persist. And by the way, just how hard is it to prove that you have an undue burden, that you're or undue hardship that prevents you from being able to pay back your loans? The standard is incredibly high. And the reason why the standard is incredibly high is because Biden fought for that standard to be high as he was championing his bankruptcy bill. Federal circuit courts have interpreted this language in different cases to demand that debtors show a certainty of hopelessness or intolerable difficulties or a total incapacity to repay. Now, if I were part of Biden's administration, I would fight pretty aggressively to not appeal the judge's decision here because it's just needlessly cruel. It's so gratuitous, it's so unnecessary. It's so rare for a judge to side with the student debtor in cases like this. And this judge, I believe, made the right choice. But the Biden administration ain't having it. 
they decided to appeal. So I, I don't know what the Biden administration is doing because it turns out that the reason why this appeal happened in the first place is because there is a Trump administration leftover that the Biden administration has refused to replace. Um, so in its first year, this is graphic six, in its first year, the Biden administration also routinely fought such attempts by people who hold student debt to have it relieved in bankruptcy court. Assistant US Attorney Jacob Laxon, who filed the appeal in Wolfson's case, was appointed by a Trump holdover in the Justice Department. How about we get rid of that Trump holdover in the Justice Department? What, why, why isn't Biden doing that immediately? And uh, the blame could fall to Attorney General Merrick Garland as the Attorney General is supposed to appoint assistant US attorneys, explained Hannah Story Brown, a researcher at the Revolving Door Project, an executive branch watchdog. But they can functionally be appointed by their local US attorney, who in Laxon's case is Trump appointee David Weiss. The only Trump appointed US attorney not asked to resign when Biden took took office. I, so why? Like, why is he still there? Why didn't Biden ask him to resign? I mean, it's definitely not a good look for Biden when you put this all in context. When you consider the fact that he's the one who pushed for and succeeded in getting past that bankruptcy bill that that turned students into indentured servants that made the student loan debt issue so much bigger, so a, a giant crisis in this country. So it's point number one. Then you have this guy campaigning on forgiving a measly $10,000 in student loan debt. He didn't even do that. He just reneged on that. And then he doesn't even have, you know, he doesn't have the time. What can he do? He doesn't have the time to ask a Trump appointee to resign. So we ensure that the education department doesn't appeal a judge's decision involving a student who has $100,000 in student loan debt, who has cerebral palsy and does not have the ability to pay that loan back. I mean, Democrats are looking for any scapegoat, anyone to blame for their lack of popularity, for Biden's sagging approval ratings. But they have no one to blame but themselves. What is Biden doing? Like, what is he busy doing right now? Ask that clown to resign. I mean, this is incredibly disgusting. And by the way, thank you to the Daily Poster for reporting on this story. Otherwise, we wouldn't know about this. We wouldn't know that there's a Trump appointee still working in the education department and appealing these cases to the detriment of students who are suffering from serious health issues. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.